Yeah, that's Teller Knights and Fire Fist actually bringing it up on the rear today. I'm big 30% of you that have not smashed the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so you guys don't miss out more else content. All right, so we are actually going to be looking at Teller Knights here. And yes, that is only two uh, Teller Knight Constellar in here. Honestly, like, the card's incredibly good, but I feel like bulking down on three of it can lead you into some, like, not super favorable matchups. So that's, like, one big thing you really got to consider here. And, of course, I mean, why would you not play evenly matched in this deck, right? Like, being able to equalize the playing field against your opponent is obviously, like, the go-to method of madness that this deck has kind of loved. Actually, we're just stealing stuff from Trap Tricks at this point. So we have triple copies of Altair with triple copies of Deneb, two copies of Vega, we have two copies of Lyra, two copies of Anukalhai, and just one copy of Altea. And then we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring with two copies of Teller Knight Constellar. We have two copies of Sky Bridge with one Foolish Barrel. We have one Roto with triple copies of Pot of Prosperity. We have triple copies of Infinite and Permanence, triple copies of Alpha. We have triple copies of Solemn Judgment, triple copies of Call of the Haunted, and then we, of course, we have triple copies of Evenly Matched here, wrapping up the main deck. Then in the next deck, you have the one Blade Armor Ninja, one Baguski with one Borbo. We have one Chaka Nine with one copy of Zeus, one copy of the Evil Swarm Exton Executioner. We have one Nova with one Infinity. We have one copy of Ptolemyus, one Dulteros with one Constellar Knight Diamond. Two copies of Trever, and then two copies of Badalamias. Then we have one copy of the Alsim. We have two copies of Droll Knockbird, two copies of Gamma Seal, two copies of Lancia, two copies of Lava Gloom, triple copies of Dark Roller No More, and of course, triple copies of Lightning Storm here, wrapping up our concept for Teller Knights, where once again, you will see, you know, more power being equalized here and more ideas showcasing for honestly what you can do for this next up here is we're playing tri-brigade roar yes if you control link monster send one tri-brigade um from your deck or extract the grave target one effect monster field and apply the effect so if it's a monster change the target monster attack to zero spell negate the target monster's effect until the end of the turn or trap return the target monster to the hand and yes we're playing two of these we're not playing bucephalus in the extra deck which i think is kind of interesting but we're also playing access to like the fire fist card so you're bringing together like the generic um beast warrior asset class package together in to punish your opponent and i think this is by far one of the most unique decks that i have seen actually working out here and showcasing that hey this can do its thing so we have triple copies of ash blossom and joy spring triple copies of frock doll with one copy of karis we have triple copies of fenrir with triple copies of kit we have two copies of nerval two copies of bear with triple copies of dragon we have one copy of buffalo with one copy of wolf bark two copies of rescue cat we have triple copies of the masterful Sun Mo and one copy of the ingenious Zhou Kong. And then we have two copies of Tensu for the additional summon. Triple copies of Tenki. We have one Dolmai with triple copies of Roar. We have one Oath, one Revolt, and one copy of Sinto. And then we have one Exiton Knight, one Diamond Direwolf with two copies of the Tiger King. One Nightmare Phoenix with one IP. We have one Apple OC with one copy of the Eagle. We have one Axis Machine with one Double Dragon Lords. One copy of Bear Broom. Two copies of the Frigette. And then we have two copies of Shirag here. And then, of course, we have Triple Lava Gloom. Triple copies of Draw and Lockbird. Two copies of Ghost Bell. Triple copies of Dimensional Bear. Two evenly matched. And two copies of Lightning Storm here. Wrapping up your Fire Fist Beast Warrior toolbox-esque deck and definitely looking at this one of the more unique things i've seen next up is super heavy samurai with triple overdrive all right so we're, we're getting a little bit cheesy out here we're actually playing this so you can do the shuffle back and actually draw some resources here now this isn't something that i've seen a lot of the other decks play i mean most of the time the other spell and trap is usually going to be dedicated to prohibition so you can immediately stop and out that you're you think your opponent's going to be setting up so that's uh 
that's something to really consider as well as like where your value generation is going to be. So we have triple copies of Ash, Blossom, and Joy Spring. We have two copies of the Super Heavy Samurai Scales with triple copies of Soul Piercer. We have triple copies of The Wagon. We have one copy of The Little Spy. Triple copies of The Bike. Two copies of The Big Benki with triple copies of The Prodigy Wakashi. We have one Soul Peacemaker with triple copies of Metal Cruncher. We have triple copies of Effect Veiler with one copy of the Soul Gaia Booster. We have one Soul Horns. We have one Tunneler with your one Ancient Gearbox. We have one Driver. We have triple Gamma with one Regulus, one Stein, and of course, triple copies of the Machina Overdrive. Then we have one Exterior with one IP, one Cleave Fort Genius with one Axis Code. We have one Apollos with one Ballista, two copies of the Scarecrow. One Platinum Gadget with one Baguski, one Gear Gigantix, one Excel Synchro Stardust, one Baron, one copy of the Ogre Shooting Doji, and then we have one Sarutobi. Then we have one Jinzo with one Spell Cancer. Uh, we have two Ripple Ancia, triple copies of Denko Rekka, triple Archfiend Eccentric, two copies of Ghost Bell, and then we have two copies of Spooky Little Dogwood here. Wrapping up a much different take for Super Heavy Samurai at least in terms of having Machina Overdrive being a little bit of a tech choice you can actually see play with in here. And I think that that's actually kind of cool, once again, to kind of see where this has landed itself. Next up here we have Sky Striker. Without a single Sky Striker monster in the main deck, relying on Linkage, and then we're playing Runic in here. You know, there are a lot of ideas out here for you know, the combinations of things that you can bring to the table with Runic, you know, whatever engine I need to play in terms of searchability. But this, this is peak content here because you have immediate outs to a lot of the things that you need. And then Linkage just gives you the ability to, you know, toggle out that fusion you just made and then get off to the races so that you can start making larger boards. Okay. So we have triple copies of Droll and Lockbird with triple copies of Lava Goal. We have triple copies of Runic Destruction with one Dispelling. We have Triple Flashing Fire with triple copies of Freezing Curses. We have triple copies of Slumber with one Smiting Storm. You got triple copies of Tip because searchability is amazing. Two copies of Fountain with triple copies of Linkage. And of course, I mean, why would you not play multiple Engage? <laughs> I wish we could. We have one Engage with one Hornet Drones, triple copies of Widow Anchor, two Afterburners, one Multi Roll, one Shark Cannon, and two copies of Pie Desires with one copy of Called by the Grave. Then we have one Donner with two Zeke. We have one Kaino with one Hayate. We have triple copies of Shizuku, triple copies of Kagari. We have one copy of Moonen, two copies of Hugen, and one copy of Gary. And then, of course, we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. We have triple copies of Jizuku, the Star Destroying Kaiju, two copies of Thrust, one Talents, triple Dark World No More, and we have triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone here, wrapping up a much more interesting take on what you can actually do. I mean, once again, you see that diversity and things that are really present in terms of the metagame here. And then you can take two engines that, you know, actually kind of flow together and actually have this work out. So this, I think, is really, really cool in terms of value. And then the last as we have for you here is Dragon Roller. Uh, yes, we actually are seeing Dragon Link actually doing its thing here. Sporting off Triple Santa Claus. This Duelist is not trying to lose to anything out here too crazy. And of course, I mean, uh, we have Dissipator here and of course the Chaos Angel, some cool new additions to this deck to kind of open up the door for what you can do. So we have one copy of Red Eyes Darkness Metal, we have one Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon, we have one Labineer with triple Lubelion, we have one Druus Worm with triple copies of Magna Hut, we have two copies of Saranir with one Baldrick, you got the one Absorator with your one Knock Division, you got one Wyvern Buster with one Collapse Serpent, triple copies of Starly Safe Fort with your one Rocket Caliber, we have two Rocket Tracer and one Rocket Recharger, and then we've got triple Talents, triple copies copies of Dark Ruler, triple copies of Chaos Base, triple copies of Quick Launch, your one Branded Regained, your one Boot Sector, your one Dragon Ravine, we got one Branded Beast, then we have one Striker Dragon with one Pisty, one copy of Heretic Heavenly Sears, one copy of Quad Boral with one copy of Romulus, one copy of the Deligerous, one Dehark with one Nightmare Unicorn, one Triple Burst, one Axis Code with one Boral End, then we have one Boral Load Savage, one Baron, one Chaos Angel, and one Dispater, and then we have one copy of Druzwern, one 
Sloth with triple copies of Santa Claus, two copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, triple copies of Draw and Lockbird, one Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend, one Change of Heart, and we have triple copies of Skill Drain here, wrapping up your chunk of interesting things out here to actually mess around with for the future of the game. So what do you guys think about all of these goodies? Because this format actually looks like it's going to be really cool. So please, if you comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back the other day, guys. Peace. Patrons, thank you. Uh. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.